Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. I am back to share with you a particular um, faith planner. And I love this style of faith parent planner. This is from Kel of a Plan, kelofaplan.com. It is gorgeous. These are undated. She had one she came out with with a six month one this last year. I've really enjoyed it. I haven't used it as much as I wanted because we just traveled so much and there was a limit to what I could take with me. I even took pages out and took them with me. But I'm thrilled that this is here. Um, I wanted to share with you guys it just arrived today, I think. Yes, it was just delivered today, so I'm super thrilled. Okay, I've already cut the bottom. Um, it has Jeremiah, hold on, 31.3, so very pretty with a beautiful cross. I wish she had put this in another box, but I know she's saving money. And by the way, if you're wondering what this is, this is a T90 box cutter. It is a ceramic, so you don't really, you can hurt yourself, but it's not as bad. And I, it fits down in my pencil cup, and it's perfect. I use it for all boxes now. It's just, and I've used them for years. I have an um, envelope opener that was a family member's that I now have. And and so, yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. Isn't this so pretty? I do love the inside of the box, yes. And I probably will save this box just to use. Even though I hate the tape on it, I will be fine. <laughs> Okay, forgive the rattle because I'm going to have to take it out. But, um, faith planners to me have been instrumental. It's time for me to get back into it. I've tried straight journaling many, many times over. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes I kind of flip between the two. But for me, faith planning uh, planners are always better because they have scripture on them. Oh, sorry guys, you can see the ring from the light. Okay, now, so what I'm going to do is you can see the inside of the cover. Isn't that gorgeous? And then you've got, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And that is from Jeremiah 29, 11. I knew Jeremiah. I just couldn't remember the address. I remember 29. I could not remember 11. So anyways, um, beautiful, beautiful quality, beautiful pages, pretty pink pretty pink um, rings and then you've got these types of do you want to do birthdays do you want to put reminders do you want to put prayer requests however you want to use it she's left it up to us so there's one two three four um let me see four pay four five five pages of that here is a more specific prayer request two pages of that and then also um Kind of a year at a glance if you want to plan or however you want to use that i will not be using this as a planner i will be using this as a faith journal so here we go with hebrews 11 1 now faith is the assurance of things hoped for the conviction of things not seen I have that memorized in a different version don't you know but i love um the divider is beautiful and it's beautiful in the back so you have this for pre-planning for the month or anything you want to specifically work on however you want to put this down. This may be where you want to put a picture of your family member that you're praying specifically for, or maybe a vision for the month of what you're praying for you think God needs you to focus on and wants you to focus on, however you want to do it. Um, and then look, they're horizontal. I love that. So that means I can actually write out my prayer. And if I need to go longer, I can put in, I have put in sticky notes. I've done all kinds of things on these pages. So I love these. So just so you see, that's the rest of the month. There's the end and the last page and you get a blank. And I think I will use this for my end of month gratitude. I will. So I think that's going to be beautiful. And then we have Romans 8, 38 through 39. For I'm convinced that nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God. Amen. And this is beautiful. That is beautiful. All of this continues. It's the same thing on the inside. It's so nice. Okay. Then we have Colossians 3, 1. Set your hearts on the things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. And that is a good member remembrance. I have three, two memorized, three, one. It's amazing. So it's, um, I love Colossians. Um, when somebody comes to know the Lord as Savior and and they have a relationship with him. I always say read John first. And then I say immediately go to Colossians. So it is a great book. 
whether you are a new believer or you are a tried and true believer. It's just fantastic. So beautiful again, and then it's the same. So here we go next month. Um, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. And that is Matthew twenty-two thirty-seven. And then we have come to me all who labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty-eight. And then um, we have John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. So beautiful, beautiful. And then it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. Galatians 2.20. So very, very pretty. And then be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. And that is from Romans, I believe, 12.12. I know my eyes are just giving me problems here tonight. Sorry, guys. Um, I do have my new glasses on. I will. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And uh, no reference. I'm trying to think where that is. To do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I want to think that's Paul. Is it Philippians? Guys, if you know where this reference is, please leave it below. Because I'm definitely going to come back in. Because obviously I can't remember addresses. Okay. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 35. I love this background. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. He remains faithful. 2 Timothy 2.13. Oh, I need to hear that today. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> And delight yourself in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Psalms 37, 4. There is something I do want to show you, that if this is your faith planner, you can even put pictures on here. Um, it can be your prayer board. It can be whatever you need it to be. Or if God is laying specific scriptures on your heart, you can write them in here. You can write them in here. So those are wonderful, wonderful tools to have to keep. Sermon notes and Bible study. So sweet. I love all that. I wish she'd sell this paper or the stickers. I mean, she has some stickers, but anyways, beautiful, beautiful how she's done it. And that's it. So it is really simple, easy peasy, um, beautiful, very nice. I'm going to leave it open so that that light won't glare in your eyes. But it is something that definitely we or I as a believer will benefit from and be blessed and hopefully it will help my walk with the Lord so I can definitely be focused on him and um and I'll probably keep my journal for in the mornings keep going in just a blank journal and then I will definitely use this in my evenings because as my parents were so ill this was the type um back then it was happy planner this was the type of journal that was absolutely instrumental in my walk with the Lord. Um, so if you chose one verse a month and that's the one you want to memorize, you could use this or you could look up a different version, put a card below and that's the one you could work on. So just a thought. Or if you didn't want to use this as a faith planner, you could use this as a um, planner itself, regular planner. What an encouraging planner. And you could also use this as a scripture writing journal. That's another thought. So um, there, you could do your Bible study, what you gleaned from your Bible study each day, or your devotional that you went through. So the, the list is endless. It is, it is endless of how you can use this. Number one, it's undated. Number two, it's, it's in a format that you can use it however you need it. And it's just beautiful. All right, again, this is from kelofaplan.com. Please tell Heather I sent you and from Josephine's Designs. And um, I hope this encourages you today. And um, I hope that this gives you some ideas for either 2024 or if you're going, I need this right now. Order it now. Start November 1 with me and we'll get going together. And if you want, you can leave a comment below and say, I'm starting November 1st doing a faith planner writing my prayers, however you want to say it. And I will list you um, in my in my book here in the prayer request section. And that is, I will pray over you every day. All right, friends. I love you guys. Most importantly, God loves you so much more. Keep serving him well. And if you would like, please share this with anyone that it might encourage. And um, if you can, like and subscribe so the algorithm will pull this up more so other people can see this gorgeous journal and help this mom and pop business. 
So I hope that, um, I hope that's everything. Um, all right, friends, I love you as much as I love you. I love you so much more. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye. And they're all coming up. Bye.